Hello there and welcome back to my videos. This video is about how you can install the Synology DSM-7 uh, beta but don't put it into the production. I'm using it my NAS at home and yeah. I will not recommend you to put it inside the in production and if you're a home user I think it's uh, it's pretty fine. It's have been long away and we're all waiting for the new Synology Disk Station Manager 7.0 so let's uh, Let's download it and let's go ahead. Don't forget to subscribe my channel by clicking on the thing below in the right corner. And if you have any questions, please make comments below and I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much and let's go ahead. First, you need to go for the pre releasesynologycom slash en global download DSM 7 beta. When you're on this screen, you can type your model number. My number is RS24. Oops, is this one? Is the rack mount? Then everything is coming up here, and the first one we're gonna do now is the disk disk station manager. And now I click on download, and you agree about anything about it could be breaking it because it's a beta software. So I will go for downloads, and I will download the pad file. Depends on your internet; it's taking a little time. So. I just waiting here and when it's done we will shift to the Synology NAS interface. Now it's done so let's go in for the Synology. You need to be logged in as a, a, um, an admin and then you go in for the control panel, update and restore and then manual DSM install. Then we're going up here and select the pad file and click OK. Then it's taking a little bit time to transfer from my computer to my NAS. And we're just waiting a little bit until it's confirmed. And here it's loading in. And it's uh, say it's an uninstalled package and something like that. Are you sure? And we say next. And then it's it's saying the update is taking probably 10 to 20 minutes and something like that. And we agree because it could break something because it's a beta. So just click next. I already have my backup, so that's okay. And then we click next. So now it's will take a little bit of time to prepare. I'll just close this down. And then it's running. We are uh, just waiting until it's finished. So when it's finished, it will reboot up again. And then we are prepared for, for the next step. And I think you're still, it's enabled to waiting for the reboot of your system. I'm doing too. So I'm probably about seven minutes back. So I need to go back and uh, get some more coffee, I think. So it's taking a little bit of time. So see you in a in second. And now after some time, I get this screen and that's meaning it's upgrading my NAS and I think it depends on the size of the NAS and, and something like that and uh, it's, it says it will take up to 15 minutes to to complete and and that's fine that's the step number one out of two and I think we just need to accept that I will say I upgrade my NAS here on the fly so this is the first time I have seen the the Synology DSM 7 and I'm running the beta and I think it's uh, stable enough to running at home so I can cheat you and others outside there for Synology DSM 7 to to have that so yeah just let waiting a little bit more it's going for step 2 it will upgrade all your packages it's, in, uh, it's possible so in my case it will updating 23 packages and I just need to wait until it's finished. So yeah, we just keep waiting and waiting very excited. So yeah, keep keep waiting. And when you're coming to this screen, that's meaning we are ready to log in. So I will log in with my admin user and uh, I'll log in with my password and I'll say stay log in. That's very impressed about the first uh, I've seen in a long time. It's, it's look very nice. So let's look in and see how it's look like when we are going for the front screen. Okay, that's just a little bit 
upgrading from the last one so we just say uh, cloud configuration I need to uh, I need to read up about what this is and not just not enable that so go and close down it's a quick turn I'll just close it down so so now we have everything here this is my DSM and you can see something of my applications here at this moment and the drive console and something like that it's not updated so let's go for the package center and see what's uh, what's going on here and I think I have some yeah I have repa repair all the, the stuff here and, and just let repair and see how it's react uh, I've made the phone package update we want to yes I want to download the newest version and I want to repair everything so right now it's look pretty nice it's unable to install that so that's probably because it's not here so see what's this one node.js 12 so I need to install the node 12 let's install that and say node.js and run that and then I need to update this again and now it's repairing and I'll try that the same here for the moment this will repair okay so we, we just need this one it's repairing so we're just waiting a little bit but I think it's why everything here is not working I need to fix out of that's manual and that's okay now we have that and now I can say download and repair that one and overall it's look much more nice than the DSM 6 about we have any kind of different right now I really don't know but I think you can use the comments fields below and then you can tell me about you have found anything different but I will 100% create videos based on the DSM 6 now and uh, I will just continue to repair my, my stuff here and uh, it's taking a little bit of time but I'm almost that I'm really happy to have that and I'll just clear all the locks and the cloud configuration is sound pretty nice it's something like if it's like when you're running the uh, the other services when I have configuration my NAS and it's it's getting explode boom, and it's go down and then I can just rolling back the, the configuration down on the new NAS and just taking my hard drive into it and so everything is fine I hope that's the case but I'm not sure Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoy and now you can install the, the Synology GSM 7 beta on your own system. And yeah, again, let me know what you figure out and what is performing and what is nice and what is not nice. Then let me know that I will try to record more videos about the Synology GSM 7. Don't forget to subscribe my channel by clicking on the right corner below and give it a like and share. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.